कैसे हैं आप सब इंडिया का मैच नहीं है इंडिया का मैच कल था बारिश हुआ था काफी क्लोज मैच रहा केवल पांच रन से रोहित शर्मा की टीम कल जीती उस मैच के बारे में बात करने के लिए और आज का जो मेरे हिसाब से पोटेंशियल ब्लॉकबस्टर मैच है बिटवीन साउथ अफ्रीका नंबर टू इन ग्रुप टू ऑफ द वर्ल्ड कप एंड पाकिस्तान डाउन एट फाइव सोचिए पाकिस्तान डाउन एट फाइव कौन कह सकता था कि ये ऐसा होगा आज का मैच दोस्तों अगर साउथ अफ्रीका की टीम जीती है तो वो सीधे टॉप पे जाएगी एंड दे हैव अश्योर्ड देमसेल्व्स ऑफ अ प्लेस इन द टी ट्वेंटी वर्ल्ड कप सेमीफाइनल्स अलॉन्ग साइड इंडिया देखना ये है कि आज के मैच के बाद इंडिया नंबर वन पे रहती है या साउथ अफ्रीका उनसे नंबर वन जगह छीन लेती है Pakistan have to win this match. They have to go and then win their last match on Sunday in Adelaide to have any hopes, mathematically, of staying in the reckoning for the semi-finals. स्वागत है आपका शो पे शो का नाम है टी ट्वेंटी अड्डा मैं हूं जेमी वॉल्टर मेरे आज के दो गेस्ट हैं द वेरी फनी सौरभ पंत एज यूजल इज अ रेगुलर ऑन दीज लाइव स्ट्रीम्स एंड टुडे फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम आई एम वेरी वेरी प्लीज टू हैव सुहेल चंदोक यू हैव सीन एम कॉमेंटेड एंकर इज अ स्पोर्ट्स प्रेजेंटर The former cricketer. He's also acted in a movie with the great Tala Ajit some years ago. He's a man of many talents. I'm very happy that today Suhail Chandok will be joining us to talk about not just today's match, a little bit about yesterday's match, as well as how the semi-finals are shaping up. It's not long, those two, before the before the knockout start. We got a comment from Pragya Yadav saying, "Good afternoon, good afternoon, Pragya. How are you? Stick around, enjoy the fun. Let's bring on Suhail Chandok for the first time here on T20 Adda." Hey Jamie. Hello, good to finally e what do I say e meet you? E meet you, e meet you. We'll take that. We'll take that. I I'm actually representing with my uh, South African jersey. Why not? I want to say after the welcome to the show, very well done. Somehow the guests like they the very few of the guests actually like to wear jerseys and I am open for any kind of jerseys. It's always good to see some support for anyone. Of course, we all wear blue when India plays, but good to see some uh, some strong vibe coming through for south africa how do you see this match sohil because look if south africa win they go top but knowing their history of having that one match where things all get really weird do you think this could be that day or they're pure favorites 22 mein south african fan nahi hu uh, it it goes goes back to the days of your kirsten hudson and and kluzner and everyone else and You know, sadly, तीस साल पहले जो जो चोकर स्टैग उधर से जो पहले पैदा हुआ था आई एम होपिंग दैट दे कैन यू नो गेट रिड ऑफ दैट आई थिंक दस ए बंच ऑफ गुड गाइज यू नो आई हैड द गुड फॉर्चून ऑफ गेटिंग टू नो लॉट ऑफ साउथ अफ्रीकन क्रिकेटर्स ओवर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी थर्टी ईयर्स एंड दस इनहेरेंटली वेरी गुड पीपल एंड आई आई रियली जस्ट फील बैड फॉर दैम बिकॉज द टैलेंट इज देर दिस टाइम यू लुक एट दिस टीम एंड टू मी इट्स जस्ट अ वेरी वेरी सॉर्ट ऑफ टैलेंटेड टीम विच are confident that are fearless you've got uh, great fast bowlers you've got this energy on the field they're a very exciting team to watch yeah so for me uh, you know i just hope to see good cricket i actually really like the look of this pakistan side as well uh pehle se agar hum dekhe jaye to wo inconsistencies ab nahi hai pakistan mein having said that this world cup suddenly they turned up and been inconsistent but they're an exciting team as well so it's going to be a good game it's going to be a good i mean two of the best i think the best fast bowling attacks up against each other a couple weaknesses with south africa's batting but man to man that team to my mind outranks anybody else in this competition let's hope it actually is their years because jaise ki aapne kaha tha inke sath bahut i don't know you can say nine safi bad luck some self inflicted pain whatever it is but the fact that every world cup be a t20 or one day format everyone says oh this team is the one to beat but they never got their yeah. hands on that trophy uh one of our first commentators is some uh, commentator someone called saurabh pant he said love the jersey and he wants to know the secret to suhail's glorious hair let me get this fellow onto the show and you can tell him straight to his face saurabh pant once again gentlemen back on the show Kaha hai bhai Mr Pant I'm going to wait for him before I come yeah, yeah. on hang on he someone who's doing all these things there he is hey man hi what's with the hair how's it going are you rubbing that in my face you know what what's up yaar i just figured that since you're going to turn up with a perfectly clean shaved head i figured look let me just bring in a bit more glory to my hair man why not yeah it's just got to be done it seems like you just, put some cre- creatine or something or the other in the morning just to just to just to spite me 
It looks glorious. Yeah, I, I've been taking those, uh, you know, those those hair hormone pills, or I don't know what you want to call them, but why not? We'll go with that for now. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, all, all legal, all legal, huh? the same. By the way, listen, we have to talk about uh, about uh, 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 today's most trending topic, which is fake fielding, friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I said before we get going, we have to talk about yesterday's match. Not just yeah. the drama, but all this stuff. I mean, like Siddharth Monga wrote a very good piece this morning or yesterday evening saying, Bangladesh need to keep the emotion aside because it always seems to be the case. Win or lose. And we, I mean, sort of yesterday we talked about that close one run, one run loss to India. But it always seems to be overshadowed by what these guys cannot control emotionally. I want your take on uh, Suhail and uh, Saurav and what happened yesterday. Sort of go, man. I'll go after you. No, I I just find it every time like I think also um, in Loki media training, thodi kam lag rahi hai mujhe. Like I think uh, uh, Shakib Al Hasan has been pretty this thing about uh, like uh, later on they said that yare uh, conditions ki wajah se aap log har gaye. He's like, nahi ye hota hai yar. I'm not going to use that as a defense. And then you have that uh, what is his name? Ah, uh, Nurul Nurul Hasan. Ah, Nurul Hasan. Who seems like a young guy. So I, I I would give him this thing for that. Kisi ne uske dimag mein bitha ke rakha hoga ki bhai ye na ye badi wali team hai ye aisa hi karti hai ye cheating karti hai aur aur Pakistan ke saath bhi no ball wagera kiya to just use that as a tactic. And he's just he's literally he's echoing somebody else's uh, words. I assume. But um, it, it just seems so silly because I'm like, भाई ये 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 जो uh, fake fielding का जो है, ये काफी बार हो चुका है. Sangakara has done it, Dhoni has done it, other people have done it to to be playful. And um, Virat Kohli was just being. And also, do I do think Virat needs to calm down? I think it's like, yeah, <laughs> like he needs to stop with the no balls and all that. You know, see the the trouble is that today actually fake fielding guarantees a penalty, right? It comes with a penalty. It's not allowed anymore. So. He actually had a point. I, I actually, yeah. for a change, don't disagree with the Bangladeshis. Even though I was expecting a nagin dance after he said that and all that shit, they, they, but they didn't turn up, right? And I, I would say media training, not just after the match, but before also. That that Shakib press conference before the match where he said, "Are we didn't turn up to win the World Cup? So why have you turned up? I mean, I don't understand. You may, may as well have got West Indies back in, yeah. Take their place. I mean, it's just weird." Yeah, I know it's, and this happens with them. They just seem to, you know, they seem to just not be able to control their emotions. But I want to, I want to ask about. For me, the most pivotal moment was when the rain came down. Because if we compare India's power play score, thirty-one, uh, thirty-seven for one. Yeah. I think, I mean, so here, sort of, and I have gone on for so many shows about how the how the power play remains problematic. I won't go there. But the way the Litton does, of course, he rode his luck. But you need luck, and you need intense slash approach. To dominate the power play, and I think yeah. he had that in spades. But then that rain break, he came out looking a different batsman. I think two balls into it, he hurt his wrist. There were a delay, and guys, we've seen that these breaks, which are happening, they often end up really screwing with the mentality of the team which had the momentum before that. So I think the rain break totally helped India, right? Yeah. Hundred percent. You know, we sports say that momentum is a word. I mean, you guys know this, yeah. Momentum, which is It's a very powerful word, and it's actually overused at times. But yesterday, it's actually the perfect time to have used that word, right? Because Sare momentum, which was, it was with uh, the Bangladeshis. They actually got off to a flyer, in my opinion. And and look, there's very, it's very debatable because you never know what would have happened if that rain break didn't come. Then I think Bangladesh would have got there uh, quite comfortably. They just had, I mean, India deflated, right? India were on the back foot. Uh, everything looked like it was heading in one direction. Yes, one breakthrough can turn it. But when you've got your backs up against the wall, when the other team is running the way it is, that break could not have happened at a better time for India, and could not have happened at a worse time for Bangladesh. And I think as soon as India got back, you can regroup, you can re-strategize a little bit more, you can sort of pause and break the state of play a little bit. And whenever you see a drinks break in cricket, you always see uh, something different happening after, right? This is a a longer than a drinks break. Suddenly, the energy, the adrenaline that's kicking through the Bangladesh batsmen drops. So for sure, that I think had the biggest effect on the game than anything else. Sort of just to just to take this forward, we've seen that after these delays when there's dew and the ball is like a bar of soap, the batsmen really have have it the better off of these situations. It's the feeling side is looking at calculation, the ball is slipping, but to pull things back, I think the first two overs after the resumption were nothing great. I don't think too many boundaries came, but that one hard thing over, you're like, ah, yeah, this could go south. But overall, full credit to Rohit and the way he marshaled his bowlers yesterday. Oh, absolutely, and also like. Um... You have to like every time I imagine a situation like this. You have to imagine like uh, cool Dhoni, right? 
एंड यू हैव टू थिंक कि भाई वो क्या करता है आई एम टॉकिंग कूल धोनी नॉट धोनी हूँ वॉक्स अप टू द आई पी एल अम्पायर से इसकी एक्सक्यूज भी हम कैसे हार रहे हैं Yeah, or whatever he said to Manish Pandey, but uh, the, <laughs> like, it's one of my favorite things about about uh, about high school Dhoni, where I'm like, yeah, he's had his moments. Let's all let's all be cool. Uh, like even with Shakib, I'm a big Shakib Al Hasan fan. Like I think I think most of us yeah. are. Like I I'm a big fan. He's essentially uh, 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 holding up uh, Bangladesh's entire team uh, uh, for uh, consistently for a while now. Like uh, he's a Sikandar Raza in a, in, a, in a lot of ways. Um, yeah, yeah. I thought I thought Lidendas uh, going to open the batting was a good call. Um, I was surprised that he didn't play before because his record is also good. And with India, again, he always plays well. And yeah. uh, uh, openers yeah. you want to keep like your uh, your probably your second most explosive batters. So Lidendas to add that means seems like a pretty uh, easy thing to do, and that will be critical if Bangladesh have any chance against Pakistan. But uh, yeah, I thought I thought I thought Rohit captained it well. I was surprised that Akshar got just one over Milagal. But uh, eventually it was like uh, I would say yeah. I-, I was literally tempted that, boy, K L Rahul should may have been the player of the match because that run out was amazing. Yeah. That was literally, so, us, us, run out. Because I say I think that's when Bangladesh suddenly started panicking a bit, and also I think I thought he did quite well uh, with with the bat also. So yeah. Hey, but Jamie, you've not said you what know, you think about fake fielding. Huh? You've not said what you think about fake fielding. See, fake fielding. I'm saying it's okay, and like you just said, now there's there's a there's a, there's a penalty for it, huh? No? If nice. you're going to be doing it, you have to be fully aware. And I get, I get where what's his name, Nurul Hasan, he where where he came from. But I just think that like in going back to this whole, I think we see it with Pakistani fans, we see it with we see it with Bangladeshi fans a bit more than I don't think the Shri Lankans have any problem. Our guys sometimes do it. But just looking for a reason where things went wrong. I'm saying I think we passed those days, right? I know social media does promote this, and when a Shakib, uh, I mean, there's a very senior journalist from Aaj Tak Deboda. The question he asked them, he asked to Shakib. I don't know if you saw it, and uh, Shakib didn't give an answer. He said, "What are we talking about?" And Shakib like, "Sorry, he's like, were you talking about the rivers between India and Bangladesh?" So that kind of thing, it just becomes social media fodder, right? Yeah, yeah. Where this fake feeling that like, it gives any player, anyone from any team's management, a chance. to raise it and almost be like i've done my bit now you guys go and you guys go and make this viral i don't think it's a big deal you guys have given enough examples i don't know what sorob is doing with this patti here but jimmy i was just going to have you noticed how because sorob doesn't have hair on his head he's getting foliage sprouting out of his chest <laughs> and now on top of his head as well like it's just it's, it's an attempt to gain a bit of uh, foliage in somewhere in some part so, of his body this is, so this is not the room i usually do these lives in my wife wife has taken over the room and she's not getting done with her yoga so now i'm just struggling to find a place where i can put my phone to main kahi bhi main yahan se wahan ghoom raha hu ki bhai kahi to kahi to acha position aa jaye so eventually i'll find it I, I, uh, but yeah you know wait you know what let's do this yeah there you go i think this is this is better okay sorry but i want to ask you yeah. we know aaj ke match mein where suhail's loyalty is lying You also picked a green thing. Are you Kansa wala green? Is it our border wala green? Is it that far, far wala green? Is it? Because you have to support some team today. Yeah, I think it's like this. Today, I want to take the third fourth. Like I want Haris Rao, and I want every. I want all, like this is space battery. Oh my God, boy, how much fun it's going to be! That means, boy, I want 240 balls. I need 240 bouncers. I want, I want all of them to go. <laughs> like, I want them to lose each other. Full no, no, 85. Watson, Watson versus Wahab Riaz wala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God, Wahab Riaz or uh, Neil Wagner. Actually, more Wahab Riaz. You're right. Or Mitchell Johnson, who else? I I just want told for today because end में कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ने वाला है कि क्या होने वाला है I think obviously if Pakistan loses then they're out essentially I mean the, I think then the chances of them going through is like probably one percent or something but uh, yeah. Would, you know it's funny though Jamie just talking about like conditions also right like we, you were talk, we were talking about sort of the ball skating on and how it usually gets easier for the batting team but in Australia things are slightly different I mean having played there a lot and I was there sort of four five years and played at the Adelaide Oval and knowing sort of ground dimensions also there. the difference is for asian teams and for a team like bangladesh right uh, when the ball skids on and the lengths are even fuller sometimes the balls hurrying you even more right and as it is the pitches are quicker than we are we're used to so when you got asian teams and this might be a problem when pakistan take on south africa right if there's a little bit of rain in the air if there's a bit of uh, hurriedness of the pitch it doesn't get any easier uh, for asian teams who are coming in because you're not as it is used to their extra pace and the skid Off the surface, actually, adds a bit more uh, zing of it. Yes, it comes onto the bat nicer, but sometimes you actually want the ball to not come onto the bat as quick. 
That's a very good point you raised, and I think we saw a little bit of this yesterday. The moment Arshdeep deviated from what he does so well, that short ball, it went for six. And even yeah. Hardik took a few balls and realized, yeah, yahan pe shayad short of a length is not the best idea. The moment they went for that slightly fuller length, then at Adelaide, I think the straight boundaries were 81. Straight boundaries are very long, yeah. And the moment Arshdeep got that again, he was the best bowler on view, which is why I think Correct. this match should have been either there, but ideally, aaj ka match ko hona chahiye tha Perth mein. Because we've seen the Perth matches have been cracked. Oh, these two guys, I could I can see one team being 100 all out and the other one like limping to 101 for nine. This would have been yeah. that kind of match there. But let's let's get straight into it, into our first. So, uh, so here we have five different segments. The first segment is called Total Recall. It's self-explanatory. Uh, hopefully my record of putting the right clip up at the right time persists. Sort of isn't Come on. Ah, ah. Oh, ah. Disgusting man, Jamie. This is just like you are. You are much like a. You are much like South Africa and Super Tails. One more loss, not even that. Okay, boy, long time. Yeah, but we're almost there. So, total recall. I want to ask you both. I'll start with you, Sohail, since you're on the show for the first time. Either your earliest memory of any South Africa Pakistan rivalry, or the most abiding memory of any match, any format between these two teams. Man, I'm trying to think, huh? Yeah, same. South Africa Pakistan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mind See, I'm, I'm on my phone. I don't have another device with me. I can't even cheat this because I don't have a second device around me. Um, I'm just going to go with my earliest uh, South African memory, maybe. I actually watched them in Chennai. Um, and I told you, I used to be a fan of this team since the early 90s, right? Like, I mean, I was only born late 80s. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, don't want to make you feel old here. But, uh, you know, I, I remember following the side when like, they had Kirsten, Hudson, Cronier, yes, Hansi Cronier, uh, Brian McMillan, they had Fanny de Villiers, you know, that era. So for me, I, you know, I've been a fan of this team since then, right? And there are times where I'm like, there's India, there's South Africa and there's Australia for me as the three teams that I used to really love. Australia became a second home for me as well. So that sort of became even bigger. So my first memories are watching Kirsten Hudson tee it up in Chennai, uh, score some big runs there as well. So for me, my affinity to this team goes back there. I've got nothing actually against uh, this Pakistan cricket team, I actually really enjoy watching them. I think they're one of the more exciting teams to watch. But for me, my earliest memories of South Africa go back all the way there. And sadly, then go back to that 1992 World Cup where they needed 22 runs of one ball. Uh, and then that semi-final in 1999 where I could not believe what was going on. So, uh, it's a team that I, I really followed a lot. But for some reason, Pakistan, South Africa doesn't come to mind. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a great game somewhere. So that's the thing. So they've actually had some really gripping test matches, especially in the days when yeah. Pakistan used to go there. But I was looking at the T20 stats. They've had some very, very close finishes, especially oddly enough in the T20 World Cup. In 9, 10 and 12, the three matches they played, they were actually humdingers. But because, I don't know, I, I couldn't figure out why I don't recall them. When I went to the scorecard while doing prep, I'm like, Oh yeah, that match they won by one run, by two runs, by X, Y, but somehow it just, yeah. it just doesn't come to mind. But I love your recollection of, of that. And I think so many of us in India would just have that soft spot for uh, for South Africa for the reasons Sohail, which you underlined. I actually had the privilege of being at that 1999 semi-final and I feel like it was like last week. So, yeah. That was just an, an unreal thing. But so, yeah. your first memory of either this contest or even like Sohail and I were just talking about your first memory of this South African team because it's been once I can I just can I just step in and say he went he went off the call he went off the call just now to Google it and come back. I'm huh? just letting you yeah, know. Yeah, I went. That's I, all. I, went <laughs> I don't send the, the quiz questions before. I went off the call. <laughs> this is what I googled. Uh, SA Pak match famous and nothing showed up, so I have no idea. <laughs> 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 but uh, I would say South Africa, I think the first memory I still have is uh, is uh, there are two memories actually. I, I don't know which one came first. You guys tell me, I'm sure. Uh, one was 1992 wala semi final World Cup, and the second was I remember Kepler Wilson's hitting uh, Kapil Dev with his back because uh, he was in That was before or after? That I before. Was it before. Was it before. Yeah. Huh, because I think before. Yeah. But I, I don't remember before. any matches between these two teams at all. Yeah, like uh, so what did you what did you finally land on Sohail? What is yeah. the No, so, you know what, sort of that's why so when Jamie mentioned the T20 encounters, it sort of put me in a different light because I'm like, this is why I'm a purist, and for the longest time I was like, T20 World Cup is not a World uh, Cup. You know, and I and like when he was yeah, mentioning yeah. like the T20 World Cups from 2010, 2012, and stuff like that, I'm like, 
I remember like 50 over World Cup history of both these teams. But like when I think back to history of T20 World Cups, like this is the first T20 World Cup where in some sense we're taking it very seriously, right? Uh. From like all angles. But like till now, T20 World Cup was always like a sort of a bit of a laugh and a giggle. And okay, cool, exciting that you won a T20 World Cup. But the real World Cup was the 50 over. So actually, I actually went back to like my my old South Africa watching days of Kirsten Hudson scoring runs for fun in Chennai and, and watching them in India. But like, I couldn't recall a Pakistan-South Africa uh, white ball match really. And sort of, I was telling Sohail while you were going and Googling, when I was doing the research for the show, I looked at all the matches. They've actually had, just purely in the T20 World Cup, in 9, 10 and 12, they've actually had three crackers of which they're going to be in the quiz session. But we think about, I mean, non-India match. I remember when Michael Hussey went after uh, Saeed Ajmal in 2010 and when, like, when Holland beat England. They've had some crackers, but I could actually not remember these matches. I've gotten slow on putting the polls up. These polls are purely for our viewers here. Those to have 20 seconds on your screen. First poll aap log ke liye, is this South Africa's year? While the fans answer yes or no. Um, sort of again, as you know, I'm putting you on toss watch because I love to talk and I, I cannot be watching the score. Jaise hi toss ka khabar, khabar aata hai, aapko bolna padega. Main aapko rokna chahunga, badi taaza khabar aari hai wahan se and, that, and, that's, and that's your job. Yeah. 34, okay, 34% <laughs> have said yes. A strong 66% now is down to 60 have said that nahi South Africa is saal bhi nahi kar paayegi. Uh, is that going to change in the next three seconds? It's gone up to 63% and the final poll with our viewers ne kaha ke haan, 63% keh rahe no. I get those to aap log se aare ho because we have seen this whole history of of things which which has happened to them like I, like I was, I was telling before sort of came some bad luck, some rain, some miscalculations, some just they were just totally outbeaten. But when we look at this team, I, I very frankly did not have them guys as a top four team, despite that pool at that point looking like this, the sort of easier, easier pool. pool. But now, despite, now, despite yeah. the problem in getting runs out of Babuma, there's no glaring weakness here in this team. This is a very, very good team. Very good team. Yeah, yeah, I mean, for me, actually, yeah, before the tournament, I've done a couple of shows and I actually put South Africa inside the semis. Um, they were. For me, one of the firm sides, not not because of the team on paper, but actually they were coming in with underrated form, right? They actually looked really good coming into the series as well. Even though they lost a few matches coming in, I actually think they're a very sorted side. Uh, and their pacers, for me, gave them the edge, right? Playing in Australia, if this World Cup was in uh, the Indian subcontinent, then, or, you know, then sure. But because being in Australia, they like conditions. I thought Quinton would get more runs than he's actually got. But they've had suddenly Riley Russo come into form just before the World Cup. That's been fab for them. Miller's got going. So they've got runs, uh, except for obviously Temba Babuma. And we talk of like every team having one man who's not scored runs. Now every team has got even that man scoring runs, except for South Africa and Temba Babuma. So, and I can't see him scoring runs. He just looks so out of place every time he steps up. Uh, it's tough, man. It's tough to watch that. Sort of is Temba Bumo that guy which, and I'm not even getting into the back, is he the guy that just needs a hug after every match, win or lose? Because you see, it's like the weight of the, what that man is going through, we can't even imagine, but he has a job to do, right? Are you kidding me? I don't have to do anything. It's like, if South Africa will make 40 runs, then they can defend it. So I think Temba Bumo should just play with the freedom of a guy who knows that Rabada is in attack. Why are you taking attention? Why are you taking attention? Just chill out, man. Just go. Like I, I actually enjoyed what he did, like because uh, I, I think the reason why a lot of people hadn't give South Africa a, a chance was, uh, yeah, because uh, ODI World Cup didn't qualify any way along, and also uh, I think what yeah. Borchoye yeah. said is correct. Like I think we we disregard the 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 conditions. Uh, if UAE hota, then I wouldn't put, give South Africa a chance. But given the fact yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, uh, we are playing in uh, in uh, Australia. I think there is a considerable chance. I think basis that I would say currently the two favourites on current form is South Africa and New Zealand. I would still put New Zealand ahead of England uh, despite that loss right now because uh, they have yeah, a lot yeah. of uh, boxes ticked. But yeah, Temba Bhuvana, yeah, the kicks, yeah. yeah, I enjoyed how in the ODIs, Bhuvaneshwar like easily got him out, right? Uh, two out swingers, one in swinger. And he was like, this is the basics of cricket, bhai sahab. This is what I also know. And he knew that was going to happen. And I think Bhuvaneshwar bowled him an out swinger and he at least went to off and he tried to flick it. I'm like, at least there's intent there, right? So I'm happy to see him have intent. So I, I think he'll be okay. I don't think... If he made 10 runs in the total in the rest of the World Cup, I don't think South Africa should be too affected. I'm going to quickly put up another poll for our viewers here. 
which team which has team? South Africa, but B second hai, and then I'll move into quickly because I know the toss is has the toss happened for him. Uh, Pakistan won the toss. It's happened, it's happened. Pakistan has chosen to bat, just like Rohit yes. Sharma against this team yeah. to bat. Uh, Suhail, you played in Australia. Kya iske piche kya thinking hai? Because these two teams generally don't like to bat first. But kya hai South Africa mein? See, at the end of the day, like Saurav just actually said uh, in his previous answer, South Africa's advantage is their bowling, right? It's not their batting. Now, you put their batting under the pump and suddenly runs on the board becomes scoreboard pressure. Now, this to me is a battle of the pacers also, right? I mean, Pakistan do have a very high quality pace attack. They've got a good bowling attack overall. They've got a good left-arm spinner. They've got a good leggy in their mix. So, suddenly, you're putting the batsmen of South Africa under the pump who haven't had the best tournament. Yes, they've had yeah. the one odd great showing from a Russo or a Miller in between or, you know, someone or the other, but it hasn't all come together. So, which aspect of South Africa would you rather put under the pump? That's their batting. And in Australia, scoreboard pressure in a big game is massive. So, I think Pakistan have played this smartly and also they need net run rate. So, if they score big early uh, and then bundle out South Africa uh, quite cheaply, it gives them that net run rate a little bit, uh, which could come into the mix as well. Hey guys, so sorry, my phone is like really overheating like crazy. I'm just going to lock back in. Okay, 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 okay. Really we'll do it. Really right now. Just give me one second. Absolutely, absolutely. He's, he's googling something else now. Yeah, he's googling yeah. something. He knows the tourist is coming. He's wondering, Jimmy, what will you do today on my side? You go, Saurabh, no problem. Poll ke mutabik, 53% of our viewers are saying it's Pakistan that has the better pace attack. Interesting, arguably. Um, I know it's not going to happen, Suhail, but in this... If this were Perth, you know, I mean, are these yeah. teams so, so well enriched with fast bowlers? Can they say, you know what, Hamara dusra spinner jada kuch karta to hai We saw South Africa do it in the last match, but then the spinner actually didn't do much. You have someone like a Markram, uh, of course, Pakistan, yeah. has Sikar Ahmed. Do you think if, but if there's a, if, if there's a match where, a knockout match, where the conditions are clearly aiding fast bowling, bouncy, would you see these two teams, you know what, we're going to play fast. Five fast bowlers. So, so, sorry, before I go there, I've just seen news that uh, David oh, Miller has ruled out of this match with back spasms. Uh, and that's a big one. Uh, Fakhar Zaman is not playing with uh, an injury that's, that's pulled him out anyway. But um, no, Miller is a big one. And that kind of tilts it in favour even more so of Pakistan, given that, again, you're, you've got pressure on that middle order of South Africa, who's the only one scoring runs. Now, you take Miller out of that equation and this is going to be tough because suddenly there's more pressure on a young Tristan Stubbs uh, if he's there uh, there's you know it's, it's a tougher encounter now suddenly for the batsman of South Africa yeah this is not going to be easy this is not going to be easy and we've discussed this but you look at David Miller so here in South Africa's most improved player against spin and you know what what an yeah. IPL he had and how pivotal he was in Gujarat Titans winning that and last match also he was there till the end this is actually a very very big blow I guess they'll bring in Heinrich Klassen or someone like that. We'll have to wait. Yeah, yeah. But this could be it. I'm just trying to see what the 11 is. They haven't, I mean, I haven't got the 11 yet. But um, yeah, I mean, I think Klassen, it might be a blessing in disguise. He's actually been a... Yeah, so Klassen, I would have thought, would, would be the smart pick. Because for me, again, one of those underrated cricketers, yeah. I think he is superb to watch. And I think he's someone who's a very hungry cricketer, right? Every time he gets... Jabi bhi unko mauka milte hain, toh he scores runs. Toh, I think someone like him, he's a guy who's got the experience, lekin mauka nahi milte hain zyada tar. Toh, when he does get an opportunity, he usually makes it count. He's, uh, he's a good team man to have as well. Yeah. Everyone I've spoken to at the Rajasthan Royals uh, always rated him very highly as a team man. So, you know, someone who I think comes straight into the side and adds a lot of value. And I remember, and you're absolutely right. I remember that series in 2018. I think it was a seven match series. India won. The guy was scoring runs and he got in the T20s. He's someone, like you said, he's someone who grabs those chances. And if ever there was a day, I know it's not a knockout for them, but if they win today, they've got number one in group two and they go straight in. Uh, sort of not back yet while he puts his phone on ice, yeah. literally, probably. I'm going to get into the next segment. This is called Numbers Game. I'll just run you through some stats before we go. That is, as the name suggests, Numbers Game. I'm going to bring back Mr. Numbers himself, sort of on the stat. Gentlemen and our viewers here, head to head, it's 21 matches, 11 to Pakistan, 10 to South Africa. Not much to choose.
from the three of us collectively couldn't remember much of those 21 matches. We'll get there in the quiz section. Uh, in 2022, Pakistan have played 16, 1, 9, lost 5, 2, no results. Uh, the other team has now played 22, 1, 11, lost 11 and split down the middle. The middle. SCG, only one match for each team. South Africa have won their one match and uh, Pakistan have lost their solitary match. At the, at the SCG in 15 T20Is, Pace has dominated with 100 wickets at 8.31 per over and spinners at 64 at 7.8 per over. Like Saurabh said yesterday, Pacers will have the higher average because they are often bowling at the death. Uh, Saurabh, I don't know if you saw it, but David Miller has been ruled out with back spasm. So here and I were saying this could be the pivotal uh, moment on which this match turns because we know what David Miller has achieved this year. Why India go harane ke baad peat toot gayi kya? मतलब what is this unfairness? Now suddenly Pakistan they now they but also they have don't they have uh, what's his name? Yeah, that guy who averages uh, some 82 in uh, ODI. Is he not even in the side? Uh, no, no, he's not there. That's amazing. Where is he? Where is he? He's out injured. But class basically class in is coming. Ha, ah, that's good enough. Yeah, मतलब class in is also another closer. Like South Africa has no shortage of. Dude, and this can I mean Devol Brellis? What is his name? Devol Brellis. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Haan, I was watching it. To, no, but... uh, to, to uh, once again quote my current favorite uh, uh, journal, Sash slash Pi. What is that guy's name who keeps uh, tracking who, how many people are running from the non strikers end? Uh, uh, Peter, Peter Pena, who keeps saying he. Uh, Peter, oh, uh, 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 Peter, yeah, yeah, yeah Peter Della Pena. Uh, 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 Peter Delapena basically said ki, dude, he was out of his crease 14 times and I'm like, yes! <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know what, abhi, I, I completely understand with this uh, fake fielding wala jo hai na abhi. I think abhi ye end mein yehi hone wala ki, this is gonna, they are gonna start trying to treat it like it's uh, the non-strikers run out. But we like, aray, humne to kab se bula tha, we are, Nurul Hassan is the, is the Ashwin of fake fielding. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna make a, a random but uh, early prediction here. Huh. For some reason, I think Shan Masood is going to get runs today. I could be completely wrong, but I'm just going to make a, an early prediction and stick my neck out. Nay, I get, I get where you're coming from because while he might not have the dominating scores that a Rizwan or a Babar have put up, I think the way that he's gone off to play the PSL and the Royal T20, whatever it's called, whatever he's doing, I think he plays for Derbyshire there or something. Whatever he's done to get himself back, this man was dropped from the Test team for not, you know, being, you know, solid enough. So, उस बंदे ने जो बदलाव किया अपने गेम में and he's batting at three. There's no for Fakhar Zaman. It it could be the guy to watch. And they and they're playing at Perth, which means anyway, you know, uh, uh, clearing the boundary is a huge challenge even for the biggest hitters. I think he's a smart cricketer. For some reason, for some reason, I have a feeling uh, Shan Masood is going to get runs. He could go for a first ball duck for all I know. But something, some gut feel is telling me he might get runs today. Your your gut feel is very nicely and conveniently segue me into the next segment we have, which is called Fantasy Pick, sponsored by High Four. It's a lovely time because you mentioned someone who you'd be willing to put something down on. Let's start this segment, and I'll ask you both your views for today. Fantasy Pick, sponsored by High Four. I see we have 1.2 lakh viewers watching. That's fantastic. For a non-India match, friends, you comment, put it, put it, send emojis. If you want to talk about the story of Suhail and about me, I'm like sort of between you both at that stage. And then of course we have Saurabh Khat and his Topi is back in the house. Fantastic. But let's get back to the segment. Um, just pick three players either side. You can mix them up. Who you think Suhail and Saurabh would uh, net our fantasy players the maximum points today? You already mentioned Shan Masood. Maybe he's one. Yeah, I'm going to go with Aiden Makram um, on the other side of things. And then it's a tough pick. I, I, I'm thinking between um, Andrik Nortkia and Haris Rauf. Uh, so I'll give you four, I guess, if that's okay. We can go up to five. It's okay. I think fast bowlers should be dominating anyone's, uh, anyone's fantasy team today. Mr. Punk with the hat. Uh, I'm I'm going full pace, so I'm going by pace order. So number one, Andrik Noke. Number two, Harisov. Actually, both of them are pretty close. And number three, I'm saying Nasim Shah. Even though I think South Africa is going to win, <laughs> so I think I just want all of them. I, like I just listen. I just love like uh, I just I just love uh, paces running in and like scaring batters, and it's just joy. It's a joy to watch. Trust me, 
as a batsman who was playing in australia watching these aussies come at me who's all of 5 foot 8 I do not like that sight. It's not. It's not a sight to. It's not a sight to love. When I saw Sean Tate running at me at one point, I was like, "How do I get a non-striker? And how do I get a non-striker? Oh, really and that's pretty much. That's pretty much all the thought that went through my head. That's it. So, so how much of it were you just thinking to yourself that I'll just walk, uh, walk to the umpire and just do a well left? <laughs> Why the guys bowling like my jar? Yeah. <laughs> The, the first ball I remember facing off him, I literally did a well left without knowing I did a well left. I, I, I heard the ball in the keeper's gloves and I was like, wait, wait, what? It went past me. Okay, cool. Sure. Okay. So yeah, no, it's uh, there are there are certain things you don't want to do in life, and one is being at the receiving end of a of a of an angry fast bowler. Yeah. And sort of that same angry fast bowler is now bowling coach of Pakistan. Batao. It's a match made. I don't know where, but somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Who's your pick, Jamie? Again, I I was trying to pick like my 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 eleven, and I just went for five bowlers. I don't always go for bowlers. I normally go for all rounders. But here, pe all rounder the options are Wayne Parnell, Mohammad Nawaz, Shadab Khan. I kept Shadab because the guy just does something and he does bowl his yeah, does. Mohammad Nawaz is not the same Nawaz we saw in the Asia Cup. But I've actually gone for five fast bowlers. I've gone for three three South African, two Pakistanis, with Shadab being my uh, being my third uh, bowling option. I have six bowlers. You have to pick three batsmen, and I'm like, you know what? It's I had Miller. I'm gonna have to go and quickly end the show early to, to change my. To, to take yeah, yeah, jump in with Russo, I think. Yeah. I had him. He's been my captain throughout when these teams have played. So he got me that 100, he got me a 50, and he got me a golden duck also last time. But that's the game. That's the game. <laughs> but let's let's now get quickly into my favorite one. Sort of, you know what this is all about. It's the quiz. So Jamie loves the quiz. This is not based on quiz point. because nobody like. I think if anybody, yeah. I don't. I think the maximum I've ever got is three out of five, and I've got that like six times, and I've never gone beyond three. Correct, I think. Don't worry, I'll, I'll probably get five. one out of five because somehow my quiz skills, my mind just freezes when I have to think back to cricket, and like there's so much going on today in today's day and age that there's no chance whatsoever. Let's go. And just the, the name of the game is just. Yes. No one really remembers half the things I ask. So all you have to do is just go in. Okay. First, first question, viewers. I will put this in the lock screen. South Africa won the first T20I between these two teams back in 2007 by 10 wickets. They hammered them. The bowlers had a good day. And the openers finished it. Who opened with Graham Smith? This is the poll for you. And two options. Was it Lutz Bosman or Morne Van Vick? Viewers, you have 20 seconds. Guys, you, you have a bit more time to think about it. If you remember, great. If not, Pukka Maro. I mean, I, I, dude, I mean, <laughs> like Graham Smith, I, I, mean, I don't know. I didn't it for you. I took care of one option. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. But uh, I'm going to go Mone Van Wick. I might be the completely wrong. Okay, okay. But I think Mone Van Wick. Okay. Viewers are 52 in favor of Lutz Bosman and 48% in Mone Van Wick. The final poll is. What do you mean? Lutz Bosman was that guy. One of them, he's whoever it was. I think scored runs in a game. Um, Absolutely, they won. I'm going to go only, because, only because. Hang on, only because we have a bald man in our show. I'm going to go Lutz Bosman. Okay, oh, sort of changing. You're changing so quickly. You were so sure early. I was literally going to say whatever Sohail said. So now I'm going to go with what Sohail originally said, which is who, Morne Van Winkle, whatever his name is. Sorapan, <laughs> Sorapan, Sorapan. You should have gone with what Sohail said the second time around. Oh Luke really? He, he, he is a ball guy. You should just go on with the ball guy. Feel your ball presence. Listen, that's one of the reasons I want Prithvi Shaw on the side now. Because Prithvi Shaw and me are finally sharing hairstyles and also stress levels sometimes. So I was like, I put up a post that Prithvi Shaw put on Instagram reel that uh, uh, you, keep, you keep your working at it and all that stuff. I'm like, I, I'm hoping to make it to the team one day. And nobody got the joke. I'm like, great. <laughs> so Hale got it right. The viewers just got it right by 2%. It was... Lutz Bosman, he got 53. Mone Fanwick actually made his debut in that match, battered at five. But as that as that year went on, he was bumped up to open very, very He did quick. open, yeah. He, he did, did open, yeah. About four or five matches later, he was tried as an opener. They tried a lot of people, and unfortunately, Lutz Bosman didn't have a long career. But in that brief career, the little ball man did do some good things. Chalye, next one. In 2000. Nine at the World Cup semi final at Trent Bridge, South Africa were set a target of 150 to beat Pakistan. How many runs short did they fall? Four or seven? 
यार मुझे कल के मैच के बारे में मालूम नहीं कि इंडिया वर्सेस बांग्लादेश हाउ मच इट वाज लाइक 4 और 7 मैच में पांच रन से जीतेगा इंडिया वही हुआ आ शिट माय फोन शटिंग डाउन माय फोन शटिंग डाउन ओह गॉड डूड इट्स सीरियस ओके या इट्स शटिंग डाउन ओके चलिए यू जॉइन आई लेट द व्यूअर्स इन सोशल नेटवर्क आई नीड टू गूगल या आई नीड टू गूगल वी आर टू सेट अप दिस शो इज अबाउट ए रेवरेंट फन जस्ट से एनीथिंग अम आई 54% of our viewers are saying four, and 46 are saying seven. That might be a hint. That might not be a hint. Who cares? Just have fun. I'm going with four. Okay, you're going with four. Four is left. The right answer is actually seven. Seven. Not much to pick from. But after that, South Africa again, again went out of a of a World Cup at the knockout stage. And Grant Smith, he once again he dismissed. That joker tag. Unfortunately, he was there two years later, also at the World Cup, when this yeah. same thing happened again. Unfortunately, which brings me to my third question here. Until sort of comes in. Sorry, a year later. So here, a year later, a year later in during the 2010 T20 World Cup, South Africa was set a target this time of 149 by Pakistan and lost by 11 runs. For whom was that their last T20? Was it one of Herschel Gibbs or Mark Boucher, or was it both? Oh, that's an interesting one. I try. Yeah, that's an interesting one. I'm wondering if that's the game Boucher got injured. That actually happened during a Test match, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, that was a test, right? Ah, ah, ah. No, but was it around that same time? Um, it, was, it, was both, right? it was the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. So I'm wondering whether that who was, was the best. That's my point, right? And then after that, yeah, yeah, I'm right. going to go. With, I'm going to go with both. I'm going to go with both. Okay, our viewers are saying 49% both, both, and 51 are saying either of them. The right answer is both. Neither Gibbs. Nor Boucher ever played a T20 match again. Yeah, you're spot on. You're spot on. That was it. I, it was around happened. the time where it was around the time where I remember him getting that eye injury. I knew Gibbs would had definitely retired after that, but like right. Boucher was my only question mark. Boy, because they didn't have another proper keeper. That's when they went through a lot of. What are you doing? I'm putting my phone on front of the AC, so hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> the things the glance people make you do, sort of the things they make you do. Tell you very quickly on to the next poll question. Can we? Can we... Sort of, we need to get. Rupu, so to new phone, I, think. I think so. That's long overdue. Listen, you guys, please. Sort of, on their house, on their six bungle, six six camera ke bungle pe bhej dijiye ek phone. Next question on the poll. Who was man of the match for taking one for nineteen and scoring thirty-two not out of seventeen balls uh, from the number nine spot when these two teams met in the two thousand twelve T Twenty World Cup? Three World Cup, three no bar. Pakistan GT. Who was man of the match? Was it Said Ajmal or Omar Gul? Man at number nine scored quick fire runs when very few expected him to do it and took one for four, one for nineteen of four very good overs. Ajmal or Omar Gul? I'm going to go with Umar Gul for some reason. I remember him doing something in T20s. 62% of our viewers are in agreement with you. That's a big number. I'm going to go Said Ajmal. What the hell? Um, Just okay. because. Okay. Just because was actually the wrong approach. It's actually Umar Gul. He was the man of the man. I think his batting was probably 19-20% better than Ajmal. I was just going to say he was a better batsman, but Al-Khan. because it was you asking the question, I thought maybe there's a twist in this question. I said let's go with it. Don't trust Again, him. Don't, don't trust him. He does this all the time. He just like pretends like by, oh, ye bahut. By the way, I will say. Again, my phone I, shut. I will say yes. Yesterday, yesterday at 3 a.m., I was laughing. I was really going mad, laughing at a at a reel. My wife was asking me what the hell I was doing. The reel was of a Saeed Ajmal interview. So that's oh, oh, kind of also one of the reasons Raja. I went with Saeed Ajmal. Raja, no, I then the full respect for watching that reel and then for getting this one. Chali, the last one. In 2021, which Pakistan opener scored his maiden T20I hundred versus South Africa? Was it Mohammad Rizwan or was it Babur Azam? They played a lot of T20I cricket in the last uh, few years. These two teams, and still we can't remember any match. But yeah, I'm going to go Rizwan. Okay, viewers, आपके पास अभी पंद्रह सेकंड हैं. सुहेल चंदोक इस सेइंग मोहम्मद रिजवान. 
very very interesting they both been in form they both got their hundreds yeah. rather late in their respective careers yeah and both yeah i mean i, I can sort of recall both getting hundreds last year at some point so it's a tricky one versus That's who they got there. 46 percent 48 percent i'm sorry you're saying rizwan 52 carry and power the right answer is mohammed rizwan well done he got 104 of 64 balls in the first ODI of a five-match series in Lahore. Very well done, Suhail, for the first time being here. I don't know if Saurav's going to join us. I can understand. I once had a guest. He had to get off the show and put his phone in the freezer. I've never seen that happen before. Hopefully, it doesn't happen again. But I think such was the discussion and such was it. Uh, good fun. We have literally have like five minutes left. I'm going to get into our last section and I'm sure Saurav will come back. It's called Predictionary. You mentioned Shan Masood. I'm going to get your, your score predicted, the margin, and who would perhaps be the man of the match as well. Last section, guys. Okay, nice. There we go. The section is called Predictionary. I, I normally jot down whatever my esteemed guests say. We know that uh, we know that Pakistan have chosen to feel and South Africa. Back Ah, sorry, sorry, sorry. So your your predicted score, I give you a five run margin here or there, and uh, what you think the winning margin will be. You can give a margin, or if you want to go to the exact score you think the chasing team will end up at, you are welcome to do that as well. I'm going to say 162. Okay. 162. One, 163. 163. So chasing team will get there and 163. No, no, no. no. Are no, you saying what Pakistan will Yeah. 163 to Pak. Okay. Okay. And result? And result will be a South Africa win. Okay. You want to wager? Can, like, Actually, no, no, hang on, sorry, I'm going to change that. The result will be a Pakistan win today. Pak to win by, you want to give me a score range? 5 to 7, 10, Dobie, whatever. 8 runs. I love it. I I love these under 10 wala because ek to match bahut acha hota hai. And you know that these two teams, yeah. ye pure tarah se ye kar sakte hai. Uh, yeah. You said, sorry, 163, I think Saurabh, Saurabh might not come back, so I'll take Saurabh's place. Yeah, again, I just feel like that 165 is going to be a damn good match. Um, yeah, if Shan Masood run hai, that 165 could become that 170. I don't know. I'm getting a lot of these random visions. I'm going to actually go with, I'm going to add on seven runs. I'm going to say 170. And yeah. I, I'm fully sure of that because Yeah. You're saying, they're due, they're due. Oh, feeling are right. um Pakistan to win by 12. I'm gonna add on four and say by their standard, it's gonna be 12. I was, I was thinking 12 in my head when you said it. You it's weird now. You're saying that you're seeing all sorts of things. So I've got some right, I've got some way off. Sort of has got a couple yeah. right, sort of has got a couple. I do record this and I normally just put that last clip, the prediction section. And I upload it on social right. media. Uh, so, hey, look, it's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for taking our time at short notice to come in and talk to us. A lot of viewers have loved you. I've had a total blast. Enjoy the tournament and, and keep doing good things, man. Me too, man. Thanks. A pleasure being with you guys. And uh, always, always fun to uh, come chat on cricket. Thanks. See you Thanks soon. So much. Thank you to all our viewers as well. And sort of wherever you are getting your phone fixed, good luck to you also. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye, Sohail. See you. Bye. See you.